Respected elders, beloved students, mothers and sisters listening from home, the hadith which has been chosen for today recorded in various books of hadith. The likes of Imam Bukhari, Imam Al Muslim, Imam Nawabi, Imam Al Tirmidhi, Imam Nasai. Some of these muhaddithin have recorded it under various books and chapters. So some of them have chosen this hadith under the chapter of Kitab al Raqaiq them things which will make the heart soften but today's hadith which i have chosen is from imam bukhari sahih hadith number 6514 imam bukhari narrates haddathana al humaydiyu قال حدثنا سفيان قال حدثنا عبد الله ابن ابي بكر ابن عمرو بن حزم سمع انس بن مالك رضي الله تعالى عنه مجمعين يقول قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يتبع الميت ثلاثه فيرجع اثنان ويبقى معه واحد يتبعه اهله وماله وعمله فَيَرْجِعُ أَهْلُهُ وَمَالُهُ وَيَبْخَى عَمَلُهُ Imam Bukhari narrates on the authority of the great companion and the khadim of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Anas ibn Malik He says Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Three things follow the dead Three things follow al mayyid the dead person. Here, following the dead person means following the dead person to the grave. Okay? Following the dead person to the grave. فَيَرْجِئُ إِثْنَانْ وَيَبْقَى مَعَهُ واحد. Two of them will return. They will follow him to the grave, these three things, two of these things will return. وَيَبْقَى مَعَهُ واحد, And one of these three will stay with him. فَيَرْجِعُ أَهْلُهُ وَمَالُهُ His family and his wealth will return back. The three things which will follow him is his family, his wealth, and his a'mal, his actions which he did in this life. Two of them will return, فَيَرْجِهُ أَهْلُهُ وَمَالُهُ His family members will return, his wealth will return back. وَيَبْقَى عَمَلُهُ His a'mal, his actions which he did in this life, will stay with him. Now, preparation is something we all are accustomed to. If a person wakes up in the morning to go to school, college or university, he needs to take his necessary preparations. He needs to sleep early, he needs to do his homework, he needs to do, get his bag uh, all in order. Preparation. When a person is traveling abroad, preparation is needed. His luggage, his money, his passport, his saman. He 
if he's a working father, then he needs to um, has his, uh, ha have all of his affairs in place before he travels. But what is the preparation the believer has to take before he leaves this life? Because every single person from the beginning of time to the end of time will have to leave. كُلُّ نَفْسٍ ذَائِقَةُ الْمَوْتِ Every soul will and shall taste death. And here in this hadith, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is telling us and teaching us that the most important thing that's going to leave with you in this life, from this life, is your a'mal, your actions which you've done. And amal here is good deeds and bad deeds. Many a times when we are shopping, we look for certain things. If, there, if, uh, if a particular thing which we are looking at, for example, onions or tomatoes or grocery, we leave the bad ones out, we take the good ones. But when a person is leaving this dunya and now on his journey to the akhirah, he leaves everything behind him. But the only thing which will travel with him and be with him is his a'mal. Good and bad. And this is why the month of Sha'ban, when we assess and analyze the actions of Rasulullah we see that his a'mal increased. And when they asked him, O oh Messenger of Allah, we see that your a'mal, your fasting, all of these things are increasing. He says, This is a month where a'mal is presented to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Actions. From various other hadith, we find Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Every Mondays, every Thursdays, a'mal is presented to Allah azza wa jalla. Your actions. Now actions here is good and bad. Presented to Allah Azza wa In other hadith we find Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam saying every day, daily, morning and evening a'mal is presented to Allah Azza wa Your actions is the only thing. Your a'mal, the luggage of a'mal, the luggage of a'mal is the only thing which will leave with you. So how do we perceive it? How do we look into our a'mal? How do we protect our a'mal? What should motivate us to do more a'mal? These are things that every believer has to obviously do and ask himself. Because this is the most important thing. Family will come to the grave, will bury me. They will return, they will mourn me, they will visit me for a bit every single day. Then a time will come, they will visit me once in a month. And then a time will come where once in a year, once in a few years. Recently, we had uh, a few years ago, from our brothers, there was a group of them that would go to the graveyard and they would uh, clean the graveyard. So in Manchester Southern Cemetery, we have the old site and now we have the new site. You go and see yourself with your own eyes, see the old site. Muslim, the Muslim site, the graves have, uh, the soil of it has decreased. Nobody has visited, if somebody had visited them then they would have resoiled it they would have looked after the grave when you see this you can tell straight away that nobody's visited here and this is the heart this is this this is the state of uh, the muslims today so actions allah azza wa jal reminds us in quran that the one who is wanting to meet allah Desires to meet Allah. فَمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُوا لِقَاءَ رَبِّهِ The one who is hoping the meeting with his Rabb. Allah says, فَلْيَعْمَلْ عَمَلًا صَالِحًا Do righteous good deeds. Do righteous good deeds. When you meet your Rabb, you will come with all of this good. 
And Allah Azza wa Jal will be proud of you. And if Allah Azza wa Jal is proud of you, no doubt the angels will know you because of the goodness which you've done in this life. Don't allow somebody to tell you to do good. Within yourself, within your hearts, within your minds, you should already be programmed to do good. If there is something about you that pushes you to do evil, then things have to be changed within your life. More connection with Allah, more salah, more good company, recite Quran, understand Quran, adhkar, dhikr, all of these things. But naturally the believer has to fastabiqul khayrat, continuously try to do good deeds. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminded us everything is to do with a'mal. Your whole life you're going to present your a'mal in the court of Allah. Allah says in Quran, the book will be given to you. Iqra kitaba. Read your book. Quran says it will be given to you. Iqra kitaba. Kafabi nafsika alyawma alayka hasiba. Today, you yourself is sufficient enough to do hisab of yourself. Read your own book. Book of what? Book of actions. Book of your a'mal. Quran makes mention. فَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِيَمِينِهِ وَأَمَّا مَنْ أُوْتِيَ كِتَابَهُ بِشِمَالِهِ Those who are fortunate, they will be receiving the book in the right hand. Book of what? A'mal. Those who are misfortunate will receive their book in their left hand. Book of what? A'mal. Quran reminds us over and over and over again. إِنَّ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ Those who believe and do good deeds. A'mal. So ulama of tafsir say, when you believe, to follow up with that belief is to ignite yourself in doing good deeds. After iman, the believer has to continuously do good. And alhamdulillah, we have the blessed month of Ramadan coming close. Blessed month of Ramadan. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to allow us to reach the month of Ramadan. We all say Ameen. So, you have the opportunity to maximize, exhaust yourself in doing good deeds. Don't destroy your good deeds. Because the currency of the Akhirah is to do with good deeds and bad deeds. If, for example, you damage somebody's property in this life, you can compensate them with money, monetary gain or whichever way. In the, in the Akhirah, compensation will only be done with A'mal. Oh my Allah, he did wrong to me. Take from his good deeds. He has nothing good, give him your bad deeds. A'mal, currency is all exchanging of A'mal. Man will come to his mother, his father on the day of Qiyamah. Allah has told me, I just need one good deed. One. One hasana. Oh my mother, was I not a good son to you? Oh my father, was I not good to you? Ya Rabbi nafsi, Ya Rabbi. Today, your a'mal is your a'mal, my a'mal is my a'mal. The most important thing is the good that we're going to take. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, when a person is placed into the grave, ulama say, you should look at your a'mal like your children. <coughs> Some of them say, just like you would like your children to take care of you when you grow up. Your actions will also take care of you the minute you leave this life. Your a'mal will take care of you. When we, so how many children have you raised of a'mal? How many of them have you nurtured? How many of them have you looked after? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he says when a person is placed into the grave, the grave will squeeze him. For some people, it will squeeze in a manner which the ribs will interlock and go into the other side. The, the rib cages will go into one another. The grave will squeeze him. 99, some say scorpions, some say dragons, some say snakes will be entered into the grave as punishment. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam taught us those who recite Surah Al-Mulk every day. 
Allah will protect him from the punishment of the grave. Suratul Mulk, two, three minutes, five minutes, for some people maybe 10 minutes. Recite Suratul Mulk, that this Suratul Mulk will protect me from the punishment of the grave. When you go for Istinja, don't be neglectful of your urine drops. Rasulullah says this is a punishment of the grave. Few more minutes of cleanliness will protect you from the punishment of the grave. Namima, ghibat, backbiting, slandering people is, is a cause of punishment of the grave. It's something which you can protect yourself from. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa he says 99 of these snakes, scorpions, dragons will be entered into the grave. And you can imagine this. The body is lying. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says his salah, his prayer, five daily prayers which was prescribed upon him, will stand and protect him from his head side. Maqibali Madhal, you are not allowed to enter from this place. No. Then his fasting will stand in his grave. Then his zakat and sadaqa will stand and surround him. Maqibali Madhal. Then his sila and the connections that he kept with his family members and his community and his neighbors, this will stand at his foot. As if his whole body is protected with his a'mal. So the question is, how strong is your salah? How strong is your connection with family members and neighbors? How strong is your sadaqah and your uh, zakat? How strong is your fasting? All of these amal will cover you. And then the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi says the angels, this is before questions, angels will come and they will sit him up and to him, as if the sun is about to set. So the believer is customs to his salah. If the sun is about to set, this is nearly time of Maghrib. The believer is custom to his salah. Morning time, he wakes up, have I prayed my namaz? What time is it? Is it Fajr time? Is it, how long do I have left? Zuh I'm going, I'm driving, I'm working. Zohar time, okay, I need to stop this time. Asr, I need to. The believer is always custom to his salah. So, he is made to sit. When he is sitting, he says, it's prayer time. The angels say, no, not now. Marrab, who is your Lord? What is your deen? Who is this person that was sent from amongst you? And if Allah Azza wa Jal gives him the tawfiq, meaning he followed Allah's commandments, he followed the deen of Islam, he followed the actions and the teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He will be able to accent. Uh, he will be able to answer. Followed in what? Followed in amal. If he followed Allah in his actions, if he followed Islam in his amal, if he followed Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam in his actions, everything is to do with amal. He will be able to answer. Then, them two angels will say to him, "We knew you were going to answer." We knew you're going to be able to answer this. Allah will call out, Sadaqa Abdi, my servant has spoken the truth. Furnish him with the clothing of Jannah. Expand his grave for him. And the grave will expand as far as the eye can see. And the fragrance of Jannah will enter into his grave. And then he will be able to see the window through where Allah has promised him his paradise. And then a person will come to him in his grave. And that person will say to him, do you know who I am? And he will say, Wajhu kal waj, yaji'u bil khair. You, that face can only bring me good news. Such a handsome person. He says, Ana amaluka salih, I am your righteous deeds. Can you imagine all of the amal which you did in this life is in your grave in the form of such a handsome person and says to you, I am your righteous deeds. Abshir, I give you glad tidings. That thing which will make you happy. This is that day that you were promised in this life. 
Imams promised you, the prophets came and promised you, Allah promised you through Quran. You heard over and over again, there's a promise for you believers. Do good deeds and Allah will reward you with this promise. Today is that day of that promise which Allah has promised you. Look and he will see his Jannah. He can smell his Jannah. He is furnished with the clothing of Jannah. His grave is expanded as far as his A'mal is surrounding him. Nothing for him to worry. Nothing for him to worry. So what do you think he will do? What do you think he will say? The one who is not worried in his grave, what will he say? Ya Rabb, oh my Lord, Aqim is Sa'ah. Oh my Allah, bring the day of judgment now. He has nothing to worry about. Bring the day of judgment now. Allah will say sleep and he will sleep until the day of judgment and he will be resurrected. And then his Quran will be his companion and so forth. A'mal is everything my brothers. So preparation in this month of Sha'ban, half of it has already passed. Our A'mal is presented in Allah's court. And then to have that motivation, desire to do as much a'mal as possible. Hatim al Asami he says, I looked at Allah's creation. I'm going to finish on this inshallah. I looked at Allah's creation. And I seen everybody has a mahboob. Beloved. But when they pass away, their mahboob separates from them. Father separates from child, wife separates from husband, husband separates from wife, best friends separate. When they pass away and that person is placed in the grave, his mahboob leaves him, his beloved leaves him. So I opted to make my mahboob my a'mal. I want to make my beloved my a'mal, my actions. So my beloved will not leave me. A'mal is everything. Actions is everything. Nothing leaves with you. Nothing will leave with you from this life except the luggage of your amal. Nothing. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us from amongst those who stand on the day of Qiyamah with mountains of good deeds. We all say Amin. May Allah Azza wa Jal make it from make us from amongst those when we stand with our amal. It's heavy on the scale. Heavy. Because if we do a'mal which is not for Allah's sake, it's like it doesn't mean anything. Allah will not accept it. You didn't do it for me. It has to be heavy on the scale. It has to mean something. Every person has the opportunity to do good. It's within our imani system that we want to do good. We want, and this is the, 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 the characteristics of the believer. He sees something he wants to do good. He wants to spend in good. He wants to advise in good. He wants to give people time. He wants to be part of Allah's house. He wants to do everything. May Allah make us from amongst those that are people of action and not just those who say things. We are people that say and also do the amal. Ameen wa akhru da'wana. Alhamdulillah.